So um, there are three main thrusts that we think that is how we should go forward. One is stakeholder engagement. In fact, we had one a uh, few days ago here at the ASM office. We need to identify decision makers and industries at the university level. So this is where ASM and YSM are working on. But for your bottom up, you'll be talking to your deans, your HLDs, your VCs, your TNCPIs. So identifying these people, tell them about RCR, active learning, and also to appoint institution level program coordinators. So people from UTA, you appoint one small committee, USA, you appoint committee. If you feel like you are the only person from your universities, don't worry, we'll come and support you. We'll form a larger committee to support you. So you are, you never walk alone, that's one thing. In terms of education, I think you hit the nail on the head, which is that um, we need to create a formal training module that, that we can take it to different universities and say this is what we can use to teach this. But that being said, don't wait for us to give you the training module. Develop your own module now. You don't have to have a comprehensive A to Z module. You can think of just a module for authorship, just a module for research misconduct. This is what we did. Chai focused on authorship, I focused on research misconduct, Abi focused on collaboration. So we start with small modules. So that's how we start. We start with baby steps. And then from ES and YSF, hopefully we'll convene a committee to work together to form a unit form a training module that you can use. And training of trainers, uh, I don't have to talk more about this. We all know what that means. It's what we're doing here today. And research, this is what I wanted to say, is that it is indeed important to have some sort of survey and study to look at the awareness of RCR, active learning, to set as a benchmark, as a baseline for here forward. And hopefully within three, five, ten years, we can revisit this and see how successful we are at implementing this. So I think, um, just to make a long story short, since you already covered all of those in just now, this is where we think we are moving forward. And I think ultimately this is the message that we want to take home. Number one is to promote responsible science within our community. You know, we often say that, yeah, you know, I tell this to the senior people, and at the end, nothing has changed, nothing improves. We talk a lot of that. But knowing that, you know, if we don't talk about it, no one's going to talk about it. If we, if we don't start creating awareness, no one's going to create awareness. Even though, you know, people might not buy into it, they might not listen to you, but be assured that there will be people who are listening, there will be people who are buying into it, and who knows, you know, change will begin um, from there. So let's continue to do this and never give up. And ultimately, is to create an ethical research ecosystem. Uh, an ecosystem where research are done ethically, responsibly to yourself, to your students, to your collaborators, to your community, to the public. Um, and this is, um, this is most important in what we do research, which is to uh, protect the environment and society. So uh, just to conclude, this is how the structure will look like. ASM will be leading uh, this with a program committee that will be uh, chaired by myself and also Chad, and as well, equally important with people who are willing to come on board to join us. And we will be uh, working with stakeholders as well as the Young Scientists Network. And at the same time, NAS has already affirmed us of their support of this program in terms of knowledge, in terms of experience in terms of materials, in terms of modules. So we have this partnership with NAS. Uh, so let me go into this one slide. If, so you have seen three thrusts right here. If there's one part that you think that you want to do, for example, he says, I want to do research. Great, let's create a working group to do research. If let's say, I want to do a training module, great. Let's form a working group, a subcommittee to work on training modules so that we can have different teams of people working on different, different aspects of this. So that will be it. Um, so before I pass the mic back to our uh, master ceremony, I just want to uh, thank all of you for coming here. I think um, it has been a very fruitful discussion. I'm personally very touched by how far we have come along since uh, 
two years ago, um, from Google 4 to all of you guys here. And I think there's still a lot of work to be done. I think our work is just, just the beginning. Um, you know, we can have big vision, we can have big goals, lots of objectives, but ultimately it is what we do as a team and how do we support each other. Uh, so, ESA and YSA is fully on board with support NAS. Now it's our turn to do the work, uh, to move this forward. Um, so, on well, my personal note, I want to thank NAS and your team for uh, coming here to facilitate this and to share knowledge with us. Uh, so I also want to thank all the young scientists in this room right here for um, for just being there and just sharing your knowledge with every one of us here. And also ASN providing the uh, location to to hold this meeting. So as a fellow, so supportive. So I'm going to pass the time to uh, Farah from ASN. Thank you, Dr. Demi. Uh, we have come to the end of our workshop, but before that, I would like to call upon the big one of this workshop, Dr. Lida Anastido, Senior Program Officer, U.S. National Academy of Sciences, to deliver her closing remarks. Please welcome. So, I um, don't have many things to say, except, first of all, to thank all of you, because you're busy and you left your jobs and your daily obligations to come to this meeting. We are grateful that you wanted to come and that you found this useful based on the things I have heard uh, and the enthusiasm that we observed here. I hope that this will carry forward. From our end, um, it's always a delight for us to come back. We have good friends and good collaborators and um, believe me, none of this would have happened without them, without Ahmed, Helen, and me, and Abby, and Elsie. Without them, we, we, yes, we, we are able to come. Um, it's not easy. We have to fight for it. Whenever we uh, manage to come, and we're here. It is because of them that we are able to continue this kind of work. Um, thank you that um, for the opportunity to continue to engage with Malaysian academics and researchers. Um, thank you to the ASM. They are always a wonderful partner for us, intellectual partner, um, uh, practical partner, any kind of adjective partner, they are there. And without their collaboration, we won't be able to do it. And I hope that we'll be able to come back and do other things, continue to do this kind of work, maybe further steps, many maybe more uh, focused steps, but I hope we will be able to come back. Thank you again. To show our heartfelt appreciation to the esteemed experts, I would like to invite Yang Berbahagia Emeritus Professor Datuk Dr. Mohamed Mahyuddin Mohamed Jahan, FASC, Honorary Treasurer to the of Sciences in Asia to present a mentor of appreciation to the experts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome uh, Professor of Environmental Toxicology, University of Leeds, Dr. Alice Teher. Program 
Officer, Institute for Laboratory Animal oh, Research, sweet. U.S. National Academy of Sciences, Dr. Lida Anastidou. Advisor, Division of Behavioral and Social Sciences and Education, U.S. National Academy of Sciences, Dr. J. Lebu. Thank you, Yang Bubahagia Emeritus Professor. <coughs> okay, on behalf of ISM. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Being the host, I think it is appropriate for me uh, to demand one or two minutes of your time. Um, I know this is between lunch and listening to me, but uh, allow me to thank uh, the National Academies of National Academies for being here with us and also your presence and very enthusiastic and I hope the enthusiasm will grow uh, even better when you get home and maybe in a year's time we'll get back together and see what we have done. I think that is the I would like to to I, I would like to be here to, to hear what we have done in your own institution. Um, now that we you are here you have I would like to uh, compare this that you have had the appetizer. You, know, you had the appetizer. It is um, tastes good. Now I think you are looking for the main meal. I'm not looking at the lunch. <laughs> the main meal. Uh, the next step is perhaps uh, before you create that confidence is you may want to get together and then get into the full five days or six days or uh, in different, uh, you know, uh, the, the modules that is covered along uh, much more detail and where I think Deming and Abi uh, can help. And you can do this at, I, I think at the academy or even in your own institutions, depending, you know, how how you uh, react to this, we are listening. Of course, the wing has given you the future um, plans. It will take time. And don't get disappointed, you know, it takes longer than what is expected. But I think what is more important is that what you can do yourself as soon as you can. And then that's something uh, that is much more beneficial uh, other than depending on others. Secondly, I think what is important, uh, I like the suggestion of uh, forming a uh, face group or WhatsApp group. I think it's very convenient these days, but with, I hope that the, the secretary will provide you with the telephone numbers and then we can communicate with each other. And, Post any questions you want. Post any, post any requests you want, and uh, that uh, we will see how we can fulfill some of those uh, queries. And of course, finally, I would I'd like to thank the secretariat uh, for their help and thank you. I'm sure this is not the the last be the beginning of many more things to come. Wish you all the best and have a safe journey. Thank you.